Hello and welcome to new this week on artsloud.com the sound of independence. Today on the show I have an artist who needs no introduction. Someone who's often referred as a man with golden voice. The bass baritone who could sing in possibly every musical genre. Someone who inspired millions across the globe to pick up a guitar. He was the first ever Indian to actually sign a western music album. Wow, isn't that incredible? Please welcome the legendary Gary Loya. Gary sir, welcome to the show. I'm really excited to meet you for the first time here. And uh, you know, I been told that as a child you were very shy. Is that true? I think it's very true. Very true. I think, yeah, uh, exceedingly shy. Yeah. yeah. So how did it happen that a person who's very shy goes yeah. on to become such a great performer? A lot of singers, a lot of musicians are essentially very shy yeah. people. Yeah. I mean, I, I think to cite an example or from from what I've read, uh, I mean, everybody has heard of Freddie Mercury, yes. you know, a legendary performer, a legend composer. Right. Um, but uh, I know the family, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why I think I can afford to say what I'm saying. I believe he was an exceedingly shy guy to begin with. Yeah. Oh. But then once he got on stage, yeah. it was like an explosion. A yeah. different you know, person like altogether. Completely yeah, different. Yeah, it was like yeah, a transformation. Yeah, yeah. You know? So though you were shy, you were yeah. always fond of music. Music was, of course, like my right arm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Music is something that I more than love. It's it's a part of your being. Wow. I think it's an ex extension from your past life, actually. Yeah. And as That's a child, really, apart from music, you yeah. were also fond of bikes and kites. Well, that I still am, yeah. Yeah? Wow. <laughs> kites, are, kites? Absolutely, yeah. I love flying kites. Yeah. I guess that's kind of linked to my love of motorcycles and the outdoors. And yeah. it's, uh, they're both, they're, you know, right. expressions of uh, ultimate freedom, so yes. to speak. Yes, yes. You know? So what is it uh, that you love about flying and bikes? Bikes, I, I have a very strange attraction to, yeah. you know. If there's any, I've said this before, if there's anything I love as much as music, yeah. Probably more, yeah. <laughs> it's motorcycles. Yeah, that's yeah, mark you know. of a rock star. Well, like, no, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I, I love motorcycles, yeah. I really do. Yeah. And uh, I've been from New York to LA on a motorcycle. Amazing. Yeah, you know, you're amazing, yeah. yeah. So I, I, that's I, like an I, east coast to the west, west coast. coast. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, that's like four days of hard motorcycle. Amazing, you know, and yeah. With the throttle wide open. And, uh, yeah. Because you love kites, you love bikes, yeah. and you love music. So I'm sure a lot of stories would have been involved in creating music while you were on the long Absolutely, rides. you know, every album of mine has yeah. at least at least one song on motorcycles. Yeah. You know, there's Mother Nature and Me. Yeah. There's a song called Riding. Right. I mean, there's so, so many that I've, you know, motorcycles and music have yeah. been my two great loves. So when did professional music happen? You know, I, it's so strange. I knew I was going to be a professional musician from the time I was a kid. Wow. I didn't know where, I didn't know how, I didn't know when. The, the kind of thing that was encouraged in a typically Parsi household, yeah. like the kind I came from. Right. You know? In my background, music That was, helped you a lot. It was like, uh, well, it, it helped in the sense that we had a great collection of records and music, you right. know. But it wasn't encouraged as a profession. Oh. It was great as a hobby, you know. But the moment they knew that this guy wants to be a professional, yeah. they said, you know, I mean... But I thought Parsis were the ones who, uh, you know, because Parsi yeah. theatre was really promoted. Not music, really. Yeah. Music yeah. was not, no. Because, and also, of course, when I was growing up, yeah. uh, you might say I'm the Woodstock generation sort of a thing, you know. <laughs> and there was, it was like uh, music was associated with drugs. And, right, uh, you right, know, the, right. Uh, the moment uh, my family knew that I was uh, yeah. wanting to be a professional musician, Oh, I did. I have started singing, and yeah. he's, you know, getting into it seriously. Yeah. They kind of say that no, no, this boy is totally ruined. Yeah. You know? He's on the wrong track. <laughs> yeah. So how you did know? you overcome that obstacle? Uh, I think just by doing it uh, the way I did it, yeah, you know, which was yeah. from the heart and soul, and yeah. then when you know, start pe started getting acceptance, yeah. that's when everybody starts accepting you. you but know? you know, it's quite uh, interesting that you said that I want to be a rock star. Now your family no, thinks... I, you know, first of all, yeah. I, I never ever thought of a rock star. Yeah. You know, I consider myself a purely Western musician. Yeah. I do a lot of jazz also, yeah. you know. Okay. So I, the rock thing might might come from the, the journalist world or whatever. Okay. You know, they uh, do a lot of shows with the great Louis Banks also yeah. doing jazz standards, yeah. Yeah, you know. 